Okay, my video just stopped on me. I, for some reason, it seems to stop on its own at a half hour, so we'll see. I don't know why it does that. So we're going into a part two of this page assembly video. We're working on the Disneyland clothes page kit. And hopefully we can get it all finished in this second video. Okay, so we've got all the foam squares, all the foam tape. Think that's enough tape? I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna line this up at the bottom. Go ahead and place it down. And he's going to sit right on top here. And now um, I'm going to have him popped. I don't know if I want him popped or... Um, He's definitely going to have to have some pop-ups up here. I'm just debating if I want him to be flat here, like he's sitting right on top of the castle, or some dimension. But if I do dimension on that part, does it look like he's... Well, I don't know. What would you guys do? What are you guys going to do on your kit? I think I'll double pop, because I double popped the journal spot. On the other page, I double pop this so to kind of give it some of that balance. I'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> okay, so the bottom part needs single pops. I'm gonna try not to do a ton. Let's see. Just do a few there. It's gonna go like. So the hard part is it goes in, so I'm not sure. <laughs> not like that. Or maybe in this case, I'll put a pop here and here. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. That'll be good. Oh wait, so then you gotta make sure it doesn't show through that hole to make sure it's down enough. Okay, that'll be good. And then I'll focus above here is gonna be all double pops. So I'm gonna go above this line and I'm gonna double pop everything. Okay. So I have nothing here, but I've got two right there. Um, I think I'm gonna do one right here. Looks like I think that would be okay. All right, now I'll double pop. Remember, we're only double popping the top half. Of course, you can glue everything on this page flat with the tape runner or liquid glue. You don't have to pop anything in. I know it takes up more room in your albums when you pop up, and I put pop-ups on every page. So I'm not going to be able to fit as many pages in my album as I can if I didn't pop everything. But I love the look of the dimension. I can't help it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to double, add double pops here. I'm not overlapping a photo. Well, actually I am. Hold up. His hand's gonna be overlapping. Maybe I'll leave these two off. Or leave the tape backing on. 
for these two. Actually, it's not even his head. No. Okay, just this one under his hand. Okay, here we go. And I remove the tape backing on those. Oh, I forgot to remove the tape backing here. Okay, so what's overlapping the castle, single pop. What's not on the castle, double pop. And I'm looking at the paper here and kind of there's somewhat of like a straight line. So I'm just kind of using that as a guide to get it in kind of straight. Hmm. Okay, so I don't want his tail to get caught on anything or rip off or messed up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the tip of his tail, or just the end, right here, just enough, just get it down. Okay, so I'm not gluing the whole tail. I just did right here, just the tip. See that? So that it stays in place. And we are finished. Okay, so here's a close up of him. Maybe on the whole page. Okay, I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to try to see if I can fit both pages on camera. Not quite. So there you go. Close enough. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please click the subs subscribe button and click that bell for notifications. And once again, check the description box below to pick up one of your kit, one of these kits today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.